Okay, I wanted to do a tutorial for everybody to kind of see how to actually download fan edits. Um, because it's not exactly the easiest thing. You would think you can just kind of Google a fan edit title and it'll pop up and you can just stream it or download it from a torrent site or whatever. And it's not that easy. Some of the more popular fan edits, perhaps of episode one or two, will be available on fan edits. But for the most part, you're going to have to jump through some hurdles to get f to a fan edit. And this is in part by design. Uh, the fan edit community does not want to um, be so out there and so accessible that the distributors would be uncomfortable with that and have a reason to shut uh, fan the fan edit community down. So this is purposely hidden and made difficult and uh, in order for to protect the community from DMCA claims and also just in general to protect the integrity of the edits and the community to make sure that um, you know, in general, the, the people who kind of seek this out are the people that want it and will likely uh, go out and b buy original, buy originals for themselves. So, but that doesn't mean this part, this is easy, and it's been very difficult even for me to sort of figure out everything that it involves. Um, but let's get started. The first thing you need to be aware of is uh, fanedit.org. This is the website where a lot of the fan edit community discusses films, uh, fan edits that are out, that are coming out, and whatnot. Um, but if you want a list of all the different movies that are available, you go to the fan edit database right here. Uh, this this link here goes to this page. Um, here is all of the, these are recent fan edits that have come out. You can search by fan editor, you can search by franchise, you can search by genre. And this is where you can learn about the fan edits. Um, just because a fan edit says it's a, uh, because a new fan edit come out, comes out doesn't mean you may be interested in seeing it. But something like this, you can find the fan edit, you can investigate, ooh, look at the changes, you can read what the uh, author intended to change here in the, in the, the fan editor intended to change in the, in the picture. And if you like those changes, then you can seek the actual, to actual download the fan edit itself. Um, so from here, uh, but this website does not have access to any downloadable links to the fan edits, and neither does the fan edit database um, website. Uh, the fan edit website. There are no links here to uh, any of the downloads, and neither here as it's a sub page of this website. So there's a completely different website called fanedit.info. Fanedit.info does have links. So if you click here where it says fan edits, these are all the different fan edits that have links that you can potentially download and watch. There's a whole bunch of them. Now bear in mind, not all of these are going to be working links. Uh, it could be that a fan editor has taken down their uh, fan edit because it's either old or it was being hosted somewhere that it's no longer hosting or it wasn't getting a whole lot of attention and they wanted to use that space for something else or maybe they were working on it on something else and they felt that their old old stuff wasn't up to snuff so they went to delete it or whatever the point is while there's a lot of fan edits here that doesn't mean they're all they're not all readily ex available but let me give you a quick breakdown of what you do from here so generally the latest fan edits that have come out are going to be here at the bottom and you're going to notice that there's uh, between next to the fan edits is the the date it was released here on fan edit info the name of the edit the name of the editor and then some d way by which it's being distributed so if you look down here at the bottom, a lot of these are MA, MA, MA. MA stands for Mega Upload, um, which is a f uh, file hosting site. Um, and lately, what you're going to see is kind of a combination of two things. Either it's it's going to be MA or it's going to be an NZB file. Okay, let me walk you through if how to watch an MA edit because they're a little bit easier to get to. So you'll notice this says it's got four different MAs. This is the Cuddly Ninjas, the man with fire on his face. Um, and what these four MAs actually correlate to, if you go to the very top, you'll see that there's, a, a, it's saying that there's a DVD5 file, that there's a, a digital file, which is like a, maybe an MP4 or maybe an AVI. 
uh, Blu-ray folders um, and other DVD folders that are uh, international. So if we go down here to the bottom, what he's saying is that all he has two different two different DVD versions available, a Blu-ray quality available, and an MP4 uh, digital download that's available. And how do we get them? You click this little button over here, and that downloads. And if you look here, this zip file has all of the different uh, versions of the movie that he's made available. But these are all, if you notice, DLC files. Okay, these are not the actual files themselves. Obviously, the the size is way too small. Uh, but what DLC files do is that they are sort of container files that contain links to the actual files, which sounds a little bit uh, labored, but it, it, it's by design. So. If I wanted to see this, uh, the man with fire on his face, the um, let's see, the seven, the 1080p version here, I would I have to open up this DLC file in a program. Um, the common program with which to do that is called J Download. So J Download, uh, I use J Downloader 2, which is what this looks like. Let me open that up for you. Um, what J Downloader does is it's sort of a, a a software that sort of links between information software that are uh, files that are on the internet and your computer. Um, what this has, what the DLC file is, a means by which it communic it talks to it. Now, if you remember, I said earlier that this guy has his files actually hosted on MA Mega. Now, I can't download that directly. Mega is an encrypted. Uh, um, file hosting site so I can't get the links directly to MA but the links to the MA the mecha upload uh, for this particular version is available on this DLC file so I would what I do is I, I just take this and drag it into J downloader 2 it's busy looking for links for all these different things do, 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 do. I probably should have tested this particular file before doing this do you want to delete uh, no do, 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 do. Still looking. Boom. There it is. So um, it's saying that it's hosted on Mega. It's saying it's about three and a half gigs. And these are all the different. Oh, it's just one single file. Sometimes you'll get a whole string of files here that are RAR files. Um, but this is saying it's a single MP4. Okay. And if I wanted to start downloading that, I would right click and just start download. And uh, it's. It, in a sense, it's that easy. I'm not actually going to do this because I don't. Actually, I think I do own Sinister. I think that movie is based off of Sinister. But anyway, I'm going to not download it. I want to. I don't want to download that right now. Okay. Uh, now there, there is another way of getting of extracting these DLC files without downloading J Downloader 2. Although I think that's a pretty easy tool. Um, there's a comp there's a different website called Decrypt It. Let me pull that over here. And it looks like this. Look how it's spelled decrypt it, decrypt.it. And here you can uh, get your container file, the DLC file, and, um, and extract it from there. So if I take this container link that's right here, um, I will. Uh, is it asking me to upload container? Yeah. Okay, so I select the file. Uh, <laughs> all these pictures at me. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, I guess did I extract all these? I don't remember. Yeah, so oh no, that's the other thing. Um, first, I have to uh, unzip the files that I downloaded here. So let me extract those. Okay, so those files are extracted, the DLC files. So then I click here to upload those files. Um, go to downloads. Boom. So there's the DLC file. And when I submit this, it, it looks for those links. It's kind of doing what J Downloader does. And there it is. There's the link. So then I would take this link, which is the link to the actual uh, mega file, open it up a new tab, drop it in there. And voila, now I can start downloading that file directly from uh, his mega site. So is that involved? Of course it is. Um, is that by design? Yes. And uh, But that's how you would get this particular fan edit. Now remember, again, like I said, always never download fan edits if you don't own the originals, okay? Um, 
Now, all of this is pretty straightforward and pretty easy if the file site is being hosted on a mega account. Um, that's not, uh, if you notice up here, like I already have a mega account, so my uh, username and stuff, it'll, it'll, it'll work just fine if you haven't logged in yet to download. Um, you don't need an account, I don't think, to download uh, links or whatnot. But anyway, the point is this is a pretty straightforward through Mega, but there's another way to get um, fan edits through what's called Usenet. And Usenet is quite a bit more complicated. Um, it's unfortunately, uh, if you're familiar with Usenet, it's very, very easy. But if you're not familiar with Usenet, which quite frankly, I'm not that familiar with it. So this does become a bit more complicated. Um, but let me go back to uh, fanedit.info. This is the page that has all the links to the edits, okay? You see all this? Uh, all the links to edits. And let's look at a, an edit that is available only through uh, NZB. All right, so Dr. Sap Saperstein's fan edit of Phantasm, the extended cut, is only available. He didn't offer it any other way, only available through Usenet file called an NZB file, okay? So uh, I download that and open up that file WinRAR extract to okay downloads uh, so uh, now that I've downloaded this is an NZB file again it's not the actual video file but it is a container f file that well sort of a container file that will have links to the actual file um, now in order to open up NZB files um, you need a, a little bit of a software program and there's several to choose from um, I don't want to overburden you with what all those choices are I'm just going to show you the one that I have um, it's called bin reader which is what I have here b-i-n-r-e-a-d-e-r uh, let me delete that okay delete. Um, this is what bin reader looks like and it's you think okay well it's sort of like a uh, J downloader too why is this freaking out on me okay um, exiting that uh, so instead of adding a DLC file you add an NZB file which is what this is saying so you click add NZB uh, downloads phantasm is phantasm edit and it's right here so you're like okay that uh, uh, on, on J Downloader, you just right click and uh, it'll start downloading, uh, but it can't because the other this uh, in J Downloader it was accessible through a Mega Upload account, but these are not on Mega. They're on a different uh, file hosting um, architecture called Usenet. And in order to access Usenet, you have to have uh, there are different um, so, uh, services out there that ac access the Usenet. Um, I guess you call it framework or database or whatever. And uh, without that, without being logged in, all of these files, which are all the different individual files that make up this fan edit, uh, and don't be intimidated by all this. You just, if you download all these RAR files, you just open one and the rest open up uh, successively. Um, so it's, it's really, it looks like it's just one file broken up into many parts. Um, but anyway, the point is I can't download it unless I have access to a, uh, a Usenet framework. So how do I get that? Well, if you click on settings here, you see it's asking for it. I need a host name, a username, and a password. Now, there's a lot of different services that access the Usenet, excuse me, that access the Usenet uh, database. And um, just to show you one, so you kind of get an idea of what, of what I'm talking about here, a popular one is newsdemon.com. Um, Usenet is used for a lot of different things, so it's a little bit excessive for this for the purposes of just fan edits. Uh, maybe not, depending on uh, you know how many fan edits you want to watch and if they're available in other formats. Um, but all uh, Usenet providers, which is Newsdaemon is a Usenet provi provider, Giga News is a Usenet provider. You just Google Usenet providers, you'll, you'll find a bunch. Basically, all of them cost money. Um, if you find any that say that they're free, what they'll do is they'll they'll give you like you know five gigs or something for free to download, but as soon as you hit five gigs, the the speed by which you download the next uh, gig could take days. 
um, it, it really really chokes your download speed um, if you don't for any account that's out there that's free so if, if you're going to be using this and using it with any kind of regularity you just go ahead and pay for an account um, and once you do obviously through the going through the process of paying for account depending on which one you want whether you know if you only want you know look at this two dollars a month for 10 gigs you know most of the movies uh, that are available on uh, uh, on on the fan edit site are going to be under 10 gigs so um, that's like two bucks to watch the movie if you only use it for this purpose there's a lot of other cool stuff with this but there are data caps there are monthly fees um, but this is how you have access so if I were to I don't I, the Usenet account that I had is expired and I don't want to start a new one but if I did uh, I would have the username uh, the host um, and uh, username and password and whatnot and then I would just go back into uh, Ben Reader here and go into settings, put all that information in here, uh, and then all of these uh, uh, NZB files that I have here, then I would be able to download them. Okay? Um, the Usenet uh, structure also works with some other fan edits that are on here, um, like f some of the older ones that have Media Share, which is MS. I believe it works through the same process although media share might be its own thing where you need the user name and access uh, but generally if it's uh, generally a lot of the users are starting to use mega mega is a really uh, nice uh, encrypted uh, file hosting server a free account will get you 50 gigs and there's lots of there's very few fan editors that are really active that have way more than 50 gig 50 gigs worth of, uh, of movies uh, that they're sharing so um, so that's why Mega is pretty pretty common, and that's why the original uh, way that I described, whether it's through JDownloader or Decrypt it, is a really strong way of getting these fan edits. I hope all of that was pretty self uh, was was helpful. Uh, I did go through it pretty fast. I, I know that you know you probably have to stop and rewind, stop and rewind, and go back if you're completely new to this. Hey, look, here's my edit, uh, my Blade Runner edit. See, I only have it. Uh, I have it on Mega Upload, but I only have two versions a Blu-ray version and a high definition uh, MP4 version. So um, this is, I didn't put a DVD version on there because I didn't want anybody to watch a DVD quality. I only wanted high quality, so that's why I did that. But anyway, uh, thanks for listening and hope this is helpful. And if you have any more questions, uh, I guess you email me, uh, feature this podcast at gmail.com. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Adios.